Well, welcome back everyone to this week's health and fitness segment. I am your host, Beverly Johnson, owner of Genesis Fitness, located here in Huntsville, Alabama, home of the illustrious Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, where service is sovereignty. Now, last week, um, we really dove into a a topic um, and we covered a lot of things about foods that can lead to inflammation. And from that, um, I had some questions following up and the question posed was, what's the difference between a vegan and vegetarian diet? And I'm so glad you asked. And as always, if you have any questions, you can um, DM me for questions pertaining to health and wellness only. Yes. If there's a topic you'd like me to talk about, um, send me a message, DM me. Um, I can be reached in my private page, Beverly K. Beverly Johnson, um, as well as my business page, Genesis Fitness. And that's G-E-N-E-S-Y-S, fitness. I'd love for you to come along for the journey because we have a lot of information that we share, um, wellness, recipes, um, encouragement, just something across the board that I try to address for everyone. Now, last week after I finished the segment, I thought about something. And I want to say it before we proceed. Um, These segments are just informational and educational segments only. They are not to diagnose any specific situations. And if you do have a specific situation that you need to have addressed, please contact your physician to get your proper diagnosis to understand what you will need next. Again, this is informational purposes and every, and this is not a diagnosis of anything and any, and above all, stay off of WebMD. Please. I gave myself three conditions, a tumor and a heart attack the last time I diagnosed myself. So please don't die. Don't go to WebMD. And also in the spirit of Mardi Gras, it is Mardi Gras season. And a little nugget of fact that the home of Mardi Gras is where? Mobile, Alabama. Yes. So let's celebrate and represent Mobile, Alabama in this time of Mardi Gras season. I'm not just saying that because that is my hometown because I am. Yes. Shameless plug. So before we go into this vegan versus vegetarian, a lot of times people all automatically come up with the connotation that of the old movies where you saw somebody anytime they said they were vegan or vegetarian, all they did was eat lettuce. They ate cream cheese and they did these really strange diets. Often in the movies, um, when you saw someone that lived that lifestyle, they were often portrayed as, um, someone that lived on a commune, someone that was ditzy. Um, it was often shown in a light that was not favorable. And so, to have someone that say they were a vegetarian or vegan, it was often the butt of the joke. Um, But I'm here to tell you that from my research that it says that vegetarian diets have been around since 700 BC. So this is not anything new. Um, This is something that a lot of people lean to. Now, when we get into the diets, a lot of people figure, what's the difference? I can't eat meat. So why should I even bother? Well, I will say, hey, Jermel. Hey, mama. Y'all, my mama is watching. Say hey to my mama, Kay Evans. Hey, mama. I, girl, I love you. I, y'all, I love my mama. Okay. And I'm back. Um, when we say vegan or vegetarian, they both pertain to the fact that you don't eat, uh, you don't eat meat products. For either one of them, the basis of it is that you are choosing um, to uh, limit, to exclude, I'm sorry, to exclude all animal based products. So that means no, no hot dogs, no chicken, no chicken tenders, no turkeys, no ribs, uh, lamb, ham, ram, you name it. None of that is included in your diet. However, when we go into the vegetarian lifestyle, um, uh, there, there are a lot of subsects because there are some vegetarians that, um, let's say they call it the lacto ovo vegetarian. And it says they will consume dairy and egg. 
So you can be a vegetarian with the caveat of having dairy and egg. But then there are others called a lacto vegetarian that just chooses to consume dairy. Then you have others that they'll just eat eggs. Then so, and then we'll go into the vegan event uh, next. So as you can see, there's no hard, fast formula for your diet. For those three categories, people created something that was good for them. So if you want to be a vegetarian, you can be one along the path that has dairy and eggs. Or you could be a vegetarian that just has eggs. Or you could be one that just consumes dairy. So overall, it comes down to what works for you and what works for your needs. So you can still be a vegetarian. And if you say, you know what, I, I got to have my eggs. You can still have your eggs. If you're the vegetarian and say, look, I have to eat my cereal in the morning and I, I don't like the rice milk. I don't like the soy, um, the plant based milks. I got to have my dairy. You can still be that. And so from to be a vegetarian, you can still cut into a subset that meets your needs. Now you're saying, well, what is a veg a vegan? A vegan is one that avoids all animal and animal derived products. No meat, no eggs, no dairy, no anything. And that is probably the most strictest of all the diets because they are, they are totally on the plant base. It says here what I found. It says their goal is to exclude all forms of animal exploitation and cruelty as possible. So for some people, it's not just a diet. It is a lifestyle where if you have some people in the vegan culture, they exclude, go even go to the point where um, their tire has, has, uh, can't be derived from an animal. Um, their shoes, everything that they choose to subscribe to restricts all animal products. So for some people, they say they are vegan. It is not just your diet. It is your lifestyle. Let me see. When we get into veganism, the biggest concern that I hear people say, how can I maintain my health? Because when you lean to your animal products, the concern is that, you know, if you eat the chickens, the fish, the turkey, you automatically get the protein that you need. So when you switch over to a vegan and vegetarian, you have to really sit down and plan your meals to make sure that you're getting the nutrients that your body needs. Um, because a lot of times when people lean over to a vegan or vegetarian, they end up with certain deficiencies. And so I will encourage you before you make that leap over, do as much research as you can about the lifestyle that fits your needs. Because it's not something that once you decide to become a vegan or vegetarian, it's not a permanent sentence. You, you can come back. You can come back. In the subset of being a vegan or vegetarianism, there's something called a pescatarian. Not, not Presbyterian. A pescatarian. And what that is is someone that has uh, fish every so often. So if you can still maintain the vegan, the vegetarian lifestyle, it's just every, every few days or so you include fish. So again, there is no diehard rule in what you can have and what you can't have. It's finding what fits your lifestyle, um, what fits your goals and what you know that you can reasonably and realistically sustain. Um, one question that I get a lot of times is, well, Beverly, what type of diet are you on? And I lean towards um, a vegetarian diet. Um, most of my leanings are towards vegetarian. Um, however, depending on if I'm on travel, depending on what I'm doing, I also lean to what's called a whole foods based diet. And that gives me the uh, permission to myself to have some animal based products. And I primarily eat chicken and turkey. So when I 
don't have it or if I choose not to, it's not a hard shift for me to go vegetarian. So I can say I'm 70 percent vegetarian. Um, I've just chosen not to make the hard shift, not because there's anything wrong, but the diet that I'm on um, fits for me. Uh, let's see. Jarmel asked, is there one you should start before the other? I would say yes. Um, start with the vegetarian first. Um, a lot of times we have the meatless Mondays and that's the day you don't have meat. I will say um, with the vegetarian diet, since it's not just that hard cut off where you can still have the dairy and you can still have the um, eggs. I would suggest try that first for about a week. Sit down um, before you do it. Sit down and plan out what your prospective meals could be for that week. Plan out what you think your breakfast would look like, what your lunch would look like and what your dinner would look like. And then that will give you an idea of what you need to shop for and see how you do that week. Um, there are tremendous health benefits to becoming vegan or vegetarian. Uh, primarily, my diet shifted more vegan, vegetarian because of health concerns, uh, because I'm only 22. Um, a few years ago, I got sick. And one of the primary things that they said was that I, my health concern was because of my diet. I was not getting enough fiber and I was not getting enough protein. So as such, it created a health problem. And when the doctor told me that, that's all I needed to hear. So I have a very um, vegetable and fruit rich diet. And since subsequent checkup, the problems that I had those years ago, I don't have now because at 26, I got to hang around for y'all. Who else? I, I got to be here. I got to be here for my nieces. I got to be here for my nephews. I got to be here for my mama. Who going to torture her? My mama need me. She love me. And so if that's what it takes for me to have a great lifestyle, then that's what you need to do. Um, by all means, if you realize that that's not for you, don't beat yourself up about it. Do not beat yourself up if you find out that being a vegan or vegetarian does not work for you. It's OK because it doesn't work. It's a lifestyle. It's a healthy lifestyle choice. And if you realize that, you know what, that was too extreme for me or it was too costly. Um, those are very valid concerns because eating healthy can be expensive, especially if you're trying to have uh, feed your whole family. And so I recognize that. So I'm not going to sit and tell you that just go grocery shopping and buy all these foods, because if you have toddlers, you have small children, they may not want broccoli. They may not want to go totally vegan or vegetarian. So it's one of those that find out what you can do and what's realistic to your schedule, your budget and your goals. Because wherever you land, it's all about moderation. It's all about um, planning. It's all about your diet. It's all about having a great workout because all these things work in totality in order for you to get there. But the foundation starts with what you decide um, to eat. Because your, your food determines your energy level. It determines what your capabilities are. It determines everything on the inside. Because as I said last week, junk food has absolutely no nutritional value in it at all. So when you decide to run to a fast food place and get a burger and fries, you consumed uh, almost a thousand calories of food that your body cannot use. It is not, it's not fueling it, it's not sustaining it, it's not doing anything to it, but making you hungry again. And one of the questions I've always received is how many calories can you consume in a day? You should you, if you are a woman, you should not have no more than 2000 calories. If you are a, a man, um, no more than 2,400. So imagine if you went to a fast food place and got breakfast, a biscuit, um, the hash browns, that's 500 calories. You go out to eat at lunch, then your favorite restaurant, depending on what it was, you consume 800 to 1,000 calories. You shot your intake for that day. So that's why in all that you do, planning is crucial that you get the nutrition what you get, get the nutrition that you need. Let me see. Because a question that was asked, um, a vegan diet, it can be better um, than a vegetarian diet for controlling weight and reducing the risk of certain diseases. However, 
Be concerned that if your vegan diet is not well planned, you can have certain nutritional deficiencies. You can still not get your iron. You can still not get your protein and your fiber. So please, as I've said before, um, this is not a knee jerk reaction to you just feel like, you know, you, 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 you at a space where you're trying to go to Miami in two weeks and you need to drop weight fast. This is not this, that these are not strategies to get you somewhere quick. These are indeed lifestyle changes. These are ones that have goals. These are ones that require you to sit down and figure out, can I sustain this as a healthy lifestyle? Because it will require you to get up and, and, and prep and plan and pack your lunches and, and plan your dinners. This is not something that on your way home that you're going to swing by a vegans or us or somewhere um, and, and pick up something. Because as the vegan and vegetarian market, are, they're growing. There may not be a lot of restaurants in your area that are readily available for said foods. Um, I'm happy to see that in Huntsville um, that the vegan and vegetarian, the vegan population is growing and there are a lot of reputation uh, restaurants available to us. So I am I'm excited to see that um, it is on the rise. And you are right, Jamel. This is not a fad diet. Nothing about being a vegan or vegetarian is a fad diet. Um, case in point, when I go to lunch every day to the cafeteria, I didn't realize how me, how much um, people around me were watching me. And I went up to the, um, the, the cafeteria worker to prepare my, my plate and I was getting ready to get a food. And she said, no, ma'am, you can't have that. And I was like, why can't I? She said it has uh, pork in it. And from watching you every day, you don't eat pork. And you don't eat a lot of meat. So these are some things I recommend to you. And so you don't have to announce to the world that you're making a shift. You don't have to tell everybody that you're making a shift. Those around you will see it and they will support it. Because this past holiday, I was so excited. I went home and my mom, she told me, she said, we made the greens. And this year we put turkey in it for you. And that meant so much to know that they recognize and they honor my request for me not to eat pork. And that that was just so humbling and, and, and loving of them that by me even not even having to say it, they saw my lifestyle change and they saw the habits that I went in acting and not even realizing that I am in, in subsequently making a change in my own family because my decision and now they are watching what I do. So now your family's going to watch what you do also. And so this is something that we can do across the board. Um, next week, if you like, we can talk about foods that you can have as a vegan or vegetarian um, because it is not bad. It is not like the movies used to portray where you would just eat lettuce and, and beans and cottage cheese. You can have a rich, robust diet. You can have one that's filling. You can have one that's satisfying. And the good thing about both of these diets is that if planned properly, they will help with your weight management. They will help with your energy levels um, because I know when I eat fast food, I get sick. I get sick and then I'm hungry two hours later. Then I have to do Then I'm back in this vicious cycle. So these are things and tools that we're hoping uh, myself and Swagger to share with you that you can take away with you and implement it to your daily walk. And again, in case you missed it, this is just strictly for informational and educational purposes. Should you require a diagnosis, please make an appointment with your doctor. This is just something for us to lay the foundation for you that should you have some questions, you can subsequently make an appointment with your doctor and make an appointment and, and find out what else can be done. Um, because this is not a diagnosis. This is information only. What else can I let you on the hold? And I also forgot for your vegetarian diet, you can have your fruits, you can have vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds. So it sounds like there's not a lot, but there is so much that you can have in your diet. It comes down to how can you plan it and make it um, sustainable. Questions, potential topics, how to fast. Those are great, those are great, great topics. And so what we'll do, we'll shift from me from eating this week and next week we'll go into how to begin to exercise. And I know for me, when I'm not working, I go to the gym 
and I'll be on the treadmill, I'll do whatever, and I will see a sea of people in the gym walking around looking lost, not because you don't want to succeed, but because you don't know how to get started and you don't know what path forward works for you. So next week, we are going to break down how to begin to exercise. How do we get started? Because if I'm not on the clock and I don't work for that um, said facility, I can't really help you because I'm not there. So I'm there, but I'm not there. And so there are times I just really want to tap you on the shoulder and go, mm -mm, stop, mm -mm. Let's, let's get you on track. So starting next week, thank you for the suggestion. We will start with how to begin to exercise. And it's not an insult to anyone. It's not a dig. But if you are really trying to go to the gym and you're not sure where to get started, that is where 90% of your frustration will be, will be because you'll see everyone else crushing it and you'll see everyone else knocking it out the park except you and you will become frustrated. And I want you all to succeed. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's hot girl summer again this year, I don't know, but if it is hot girl summer, I want y'all to be ready for hot girl summer so y'all can do what you do. Because if it is, I don't know what Meg the Stallion's name in 2020, but if it is hot girl summer, I want us to be ready. Do I create meal plans? Yes, I do. Feel free to um, send me a note and, and let's talk about what I can do uh, to be of service to you. Um, as always, um, thank you for this great segment. Thank you for this great evening. I appreciate you all so much. And if you want any more information, you know, um, put a comment at the bottom or DM me for informational purposes only. No, do not WYD me and hey beautiful me. It's strictly information and business only. So thank y'all for a great evening. I love y'all. Have a blessed and wonderful week. And for those of you that have a day off, stay up late to 1030 and watch some reruns of Murder, She Wrote. And I will see y'all next week.